All right. Now, someone the other day uh, commented on one of my videos. I can't I can't remember. Um, it's a frequent commenter on the, this channel and said, OK, all this drama is all said and done. Can we move on to playing in the game? And I said, yes, sir. But I wanted to quickly um, address one thing as we further go into exploring the game and playing the Division 2. And I think this is the sentiment that many people think and have, and they're purporting things like the game is dead, the Division 2 is dead. This was the same thing they said six months ago, same thing they said eight months ago, same thing so-called people said, uh, you know, 9, 11, 10 months ago, or even the day the game, the, the game came out, people were saying the game was dead and it was going to die. Now, the game is not perfect. There are many issues with the game. But you know what's happening? The game is still going to continue on. Even with all the things that have actually happened in the past few weeks, many players have actually hopped back on with alternate accounts and have continued playing the game. As surprising as they may sound. And you know what? Many of them are saying it. All you have to do is read through the comment sections of videos all around the community. And anybody that's saying that the game is dead or the game is in such a bad state or the game is a dumpster fire, we know, like you're not telling us anything new, but here is the question. If there was a way better game than the Division 2, everybody in the Division 2 will most likely pack up and go play that game. The Division 2 offers so many things that are not out there in many video games. And I think this video, I'm going to make it as a kind of a highlight of some of the strong points of the Division 2. Why? Because I'm a Division 2 content creator and I have interest in this community and interest in this game. That is what I feel we need to see. We already know the problems. In fact, some of the problems have become so bad, they've become personal to people in the community. But I want to just say, why not just face on and focus on the positives? And then eventually the negatives will most likely start to reduce. Because this game has complex systems that you cannot find in many video games. In fact, many people say the Division 2 is like Diablo, but many people don't know that Hamish used to work on some of the old Diablo games before he was hired to Massive. And I don't know what his transition was from coming, you know, from that Diablo exposure, but many of those systems that we see in the Division 2, the RPG systems, or the Division 1 actually, that actually make this game very unique, where we're counting numbers as we're actually fighting in the game. Many people say they don't like bullet sponges, they don't like all these things. They want to be able to melt every NPC, but then I have to ask a question, if we look at your build, is it min-maxed? Or then many people will say, well, but there are no gear items for you to be able to farm to get min-max items. But hey, that's the point. If you got all the items that you wanted in one day, there will be no reason to play. And I understand that the loot drops could be really, you know, terrible. This is the division. The loot drops have always been very challenging from the first game. But at the same time, many are not making use of what they're actually getting. Many people say, oh, I can't get any max roll items. Honestly, sometimes you get a max roll item and it's not an item that you want. But you can't say you're not getting max roll items. You're getting max roll items of golden gear is what you're getting. I, I know, I know many people are probably getting those golden gear max roll items and they're like, well, I don't want golden gear. I want wyvern. Hey, it's RNG and there are many parameters. I've also heard that many are saying that there is no build diversity or whatever. I'll, I'll just recommend one YouTube channel, Identity. Identity makes some of the most creative builds in this community. Non-meta, off-meta, out-of-meta, out-of-the-box, insanely good builds that I have not seen around this community. No shade to all my other builders, but I'm telling you, this guy is probably doing his laundry thinking about division builds. It's crazy some of the stuff he comes up with. And you know what's even crazy? A lot of the things that he asks people to build, I don't know if he does this on purpose, are built with items that you can easily get your hands on. He's not building some outlandish build that you have to get max rolls of everything, but he's making useful builds that provide different styles to play. Evidence in case was his last video that he made about the sticky bomb. The moment I saw that video, I commented and I went into my stash and I was able to find myself about six items that I was able to use to make somewhat of a similar build. And guess what? I didn't take the build out to heroic because the build is not min-maxed. I took it out to a normal mode and just to feel the play style in case I liked it. And I did enjoy it. And I enjoy many of the builds that he does. And then there are other small YouTube channels that are still coming up that are making some really good build videos that some of the big names are not even getting to because there's so much content and so much to cover and expose to the community. 
And I can understand that there are so many aspects of the game that many people feel dissatisfied with. But if you focus on the negatives, that's what you're going to see. If you focus on the positives, that's exactly what you're going to see. And I'm not being naive. I'm seeing people say, come on, you're acting like you're naive. I know the problems in the game because I played the game. I played the game on two accounts so that I could get better RNG and it was still not even good. Have you invested in a whole second account? Maybe your RNG will be better and level up a whole different agent and still get nothing. I have until you, I think many people get to that point. It's really strange that people are, you know, saying that all these negative things just because it's easy to dwell on the negative. But Tom Clancy's The Division is a very unique game. It's a very strange game, too. Even us, the content creators, we also have to go through a lot of the different issues that this game brings along with it because you're representing, in most cases, a broken product. But if, like I said before, if there was a better game that was doing what Tom Clancy's The Division was doing, most of us will probably already be playing that game right now. There are games that are similar that actually do provide, in some cases, some better systems that The Division and The Division 2 fails or has failed at. But many of us are not playing those games. We're playing The Division, and that's because The Division does provide very unique aspects of the game that we just want to play and actually play it while ignoring or actually putting aside or kind of blocking our faces away from those things that are not 100%, you know, good. Many, uh, many folks have, I don't think we've actually looked at it from this direction where we say, do the developers actually take any pride in their work? Do they love the job that they do? Um, and when we say developers, I have to be very, I have to be very uh, frank and say the devs are the people who are doing the coding, doing the work. Many of them have to work collectively, but they are decision makers. There are people over them and the leadership is most likely where we're going to have to point some blame for some of the things that we see as problems and calling the devs and all that stuff. I have learned over time and I used to say the devs, the devs, the devs, the devs, that there are many, many, many wheels to this entire machine. And if you if something is wrong somewhere at the top or the top is not paying attention to what's going on then I think that's going to trickle down and we're going to be seeing the problems that are coming. If the devs are not doing a great job, who's the leadership allowing for them to actually release some of the things that they're releasing? Or if the devs are doing a good job or the devs need more time and the, the higher ups are saying, no, we need to get the product out the door. But we don't know what's going on. We don't know what the inner workings are. So what do we do? We make a decision. The decision is, like many have made, we're still going to play the game or we're not going to play the game. Those are the decisions that we find ourselves in. And I know that many of the events in the community have hurt a lot of community members. And I'm not saying that because I'm some, you know, like I'm just saying that because I, I don't really care or understand. No, I do see that there are problems that have been caused by a lot of things. And I don't want to mention it. I have friends. I have people that I ran with, uh, you know, and then f maybe finally just found themselves actually in a in a position uh, afterwards and they were they had people doing a glitch and they you know they have been banned or whatever it is but at the same time many folks have also said as much as many have said they're leaving many have also said that they're going to be coming back and these are some of the issues that do go on in the game these are some of the things that we see in the game and so for those saying that the game is dead let me give you some clear evidence that way you don't say that I'm giving you talk without providing proof or evidence. Go to Discord, join the Division 2's Discord, join any Division 2 Discord from any of the content creators, and then just leave your notifications on. Just pure Division Discords. Just turn off other notifications for other servers and leave your notifications on. If your battery can last more than three hours, with the amount of notifications for people who want to do our who want, who want to do missions, then I have been fooling you for this video. If your battery can last three hours for taking on the Division 2 Discord, taking on the content creators who make the Division 2 their Discord channels, if your battery lasts for three hours after you've done that, then I've been fooling you. Let me just say at least, let me be, let me be conservative and say 50% of your battery is going to be done by three hours of constant notifications that you're going to get. I would recommend some names if you even want. Let's go. Let's do even do Cold Boy. 
Let's do Afflicted Gamer. Let's do, um, what's his name? Uh, Clint Flywood. I'm also a member. Many of them don't know. Many of our content creators don't know that I'm in their Discord servers, guys. I'm in your, I'm in your servers, boys. I'm just not using my main gamer tag. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm always, I'm listening. I'm watching because I have to know and I feel like I need to figure out what's going on in the community. Try nothing but skills. I am there and people are constantly looking for, you know, missions and looking for teams and looking for raid groups and looking for end game content constantly, almost 24 hours. Sometimes I have to shut off discord for days because I get sick of the sound. And now, yes, matchmaking may be a whole nother case where, you know, I might not, you might not find people to match make with on a fly for a mission that you're doing, but that is not to be interpreted as the game is dead. That is a very surface look at what's going on. So the Division 2 right now is a very important game. Many have said they're going to go to all these other games. But right now we see that even with what's going on in the world, the development team are still doing what they can to support the game. Yes, they made mistakes. Are you going to keep holding them for the mistakes? Are we going to move forward? Because you can choose. You can hold on to all the mistakes for four years. Yes. Or you can move on. You can move forward. We can move on together and say, all right, let's get this game off the ground and let's support these developers. Last of Us 2 just got canceled indefinitely. They moved Cyberpunk all the way through September. And only, you know, only God knows if that's actually going to still be a possibility by September. Marvel's Avengers is also in September at that time. Only God knows if that's also still going to be a possibility. It's still up in the air. But yet we have a game that's available here. And we're still saying that this game and we're, we're still focusing on all the negatives. Everything that happened last few weeks in the division... It's very naive for us to say that the situation around the world did not play some kind of a part in it. I mean, we cannot we can, we can say that that was one of the factors. But at the end of the day, I'm just calling the community to look at all of this from a very positive outlook. If you keep saying the game is dead because it makes you feel good, that's fine. It's your opinion. But it is not based in any truth or any proof. In fact, I would almost be very, very careful to be short of calling you a liar <laughs> because I've given you evidence and it's now for you to actually counter my own evidence and do so in the comment section. I didn't call you a liar. I said, I'm I stopped short because you're saying stuff that is actually not true and not accurate. And this is not the way I feel like the community needs to be addressed or we need to address things. Yes. Other games are having more people watching them on steam and on stream and on all this stuff. Yes, the division has a small audience. Yes, but nonetheless, think about it. We don't have such a big community like many of the other games that you're going to compare with. And I know many will compare with Destiny, but Destiny is established on a different level and the game is free to play too. So it has a very different model than the division right now. And has always had a different model than the division and a different audience in a sense at the same time. So that is just my little rant for this afternoon. Um, I just feel like the negativity, you know, is just going to still be there nonetheless, but at least let there be a note and a record that we're still going to remain positive, many of us. And for those of us that all these things have happened in the past and have affected, I have said that I really do feel bad that many people got caught up in this and especially those who did not find themselves doing anything. Big mistake. But nonetheless, many agents have just said, you know what, I, I was in, I was caught in this situation. I'm probably going to wait my seven days or I'm probably just going to start up a new account and just leave the old one there and just enjoy the game. When the old one comes back, probably get back on there as I see fit. So that's pretty much it. Let me hear what your, your thoughts in the comment section. I just wanted to make sure that this video went out because I could not stand all these comments that were going on unchecked. And I thought somebody needs to check it. See you guys in the next video. Peace.